Get a pen and paper out and write yourself one rhyme. And then you phrase it right there on that first beat again. Well, get a pen and paper out and write yourself just one rhyme. Just one, that's all you need. And pick up the guitar, cause you know it's blues time. Okay. Hey, what's up everybody out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to write your own blues song. This is focused on the vocal phrasing so you know kind of how to fit your lyrics with the 12 bar so that way you can make a couple rhymes and you can make a whole song. We'll be playing it in the key of E so you should know how to strum through the blues in the key of E. Links in the notes to a tutorial on strumming through if you don't know how, as well as links to Patreon, which you can get tabs for this guitar tutorial and all our guitar tutorials up there by becoming a Patreon. But if you came just because you want to write your own blues song and you need a little bit of help, that's cool. I dig it and I respect it. Grab your guitar. Brain and attention span. When you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this tutorial down together. Come on in. Let's do it. All right. Today we're going to look at how to write your own blues song. And we are going to, and I'm going to show you how to fit that with the phrasing so you can play and sing along. This is based on a 12 bar blues in E. If you don't know how to strum a 12 bar blues in E. You should check out up in the notes, the link to the strummer blues in E. Now, having said that, all that fancy bam, 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 bam. You don't need how to do, you just need to know how to strum it. A blues verse only needs one rhyme, which is really cool. So we're gonna start off with something like this. When my baby, she left me, she left me all alone. And with a blues uh, song, the first four measures are they're gonna be the E chord. And on the third measure, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Right there on that third measure is where you want your lyric, your phrase, or your lyrics to finish, the last syllable. So my baby, she left me. She left me here all alone. Lone is the last syllable in my rhyme, and I'm placing it right on the thir first beat of that third measure. So the first four bars would be, well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. Okay. Then you get to the middle, which is gonna go from our E chord, it's gonna jump up and we're gonna play our A7. And it's the same thing. A7 for two measures back to the E. And when you go back to the E7 is where you want your rhyme. Well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. Right? So, the first eight measures you get. My baby, she left me. She left me all alone. Well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. And then we have the turnaround which is gonna sound something like this. B7, A7, E7, B7. And you're gonna want your rhyme to finish right on that when you get back to the root, the E7. So it's like, for example, what rhymes with alone? Um, clone. I think I'm gonna call myself a scientist and get me a clone. The lyrics I'm improvising. All right, but if we put that all together with just one rhyme, we have our whole verse. Well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. Going to the A7. My baby, she left me. She left me all alone. I think I'm gonna call me a scientist. Tell him to get me a clone. She ain't come back. Well, baby, she's gone for good. Just improvising another one, right? Well, she ain't coming back. My baby, she's gone for good. Right there on that first beat. Here comes a turnaround. What's a man to do? I think I'm gonna have to change my neighborhood. 
I don't know why you change your neighborhood because it's no good, but that's how the phrasing works within the tune. So what you should do is you should get a pen and paper out and write, write just one rhyme, just one rhyme. Get a pen and paper out and write yourself one rhyme. And then you phrase it right there on that first beat again. Well, get a pen and paper out and write yourself just one rhyme. Just one, that's all you need. And pick up the guitar, cause you know it's blues time. Okay, and now that's just the most simple form of what we're doing. You can build up and you can make a lot of changes with it. You can do it over shuffle, right? My baby, she left me. Where she left me all alone. My baby, she left me. She left me all alone. I'm gonna call myself a scientist and have him build me a clone. Because the blues basically is gonna follow that same pattern, whether it's funky blues, where my baby. She left me, left me all alone Where well, my baby, she left me Don't left me alone I think I'm gonna call myself a scientist Tell him, hey man, build me a clone It follows that same 12 bar structure So whether you're doing a shuffle A riff bass blues my baby, she left me, she left me all alone, yeah. The lyrics are all going to work because you know where the phrasing fits. So you just need one rhyme, and remember, the last syllable on the first beat of the third measure in the first part, then the last beat on the first measure of the seventh, and then the same thing again on the eleventh. It's always if you take those four bars and cut them in half, the first beat of the second half is where your phrase is. Now, once you get that, you can experiment with it. Um, you could go longer. Well, my baby, she left me. The old crooked woman, she got stunned done left me all alone. Well, my baby, she left me. And that's just experimenting with it. But this basic phrasing, if you're just learning how to write this music and you're just learning the style, that's how you fit your lyrics with the 12th bar to give that traditional blue sound. Another thing you can do is right after that too, you have a space to do fills. Well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. Well, my baby, she left me. She left me all alone. I'm gonna call a scientist, build myself a clone. I forgot the lyrics, which is funny because I've been singing it for 10 minutes. All right, and all I'm doing there is because it's an E blues, I just have mapped out the E blues scale. And I use those two empty bars with no lyrics where I'm just strumming to go ahead and. around in that scale right all right until next time keep on rocking keep on rolling have a lovely day have a lovely life and life is good friends go write your own blues song life is good but you know write about the blues <laughs> well life is good not all blues has to be said well life is good not all these blues have to be so sad You can write a song Also when you are feeling glad Have fun with the ideas everybody Have a lovely day and until next time Rock and roll Thank you so much for watching to the very end my friends Remember new guitar tutorials every single Monday 
By clicking up in those notes in the corner, you'll get access to Patreon, where you can get printable PDFs for this lesson and all our lessons, tabs, tutorials, song sheets. To accelerate your learning, it starts at just a dollar a month, all right? Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. Pretty good deal. As well as 10 Thumbs t-shirts, let them know where you're learning. And until next time, what I want you to do more than anything else is have a lovely day, eat your vegetables, say please and thank you. All right, take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you next Monday for our next guitar tutorial. Take care of yourselves. Ciao, ciao. Hasta la vista, baby.